Previously on Drake Paragon. We are in prime iceberg territory. Those voice they're just everywhere. It was reported that the harbor had been blocked by ice. I had a bit of a run-in with the main sheet this morning. All right, let's eat. It may be picking up because it's like maybe it's coming this way. There's Chile out here. Iceberg! Yeah? There's an iceberg up here! A one gallon container of used engine oil broke loose in the salon and broke. The sun just is after coming up, but what I thought was just kind of clouds and horizon, you can see there's a clear distinction. There's this big cloud system just sitting right in front of us. It gets pretty dark over here. So I'm just after calling Drake. I think he's going to go check the weather and see what's happening. But that does not look like good weather. It looks like pretty strong weather. Holy moly, that thing looks horrible. I mean, maybe it's nothing, but it looks like hell. We should do the oil change now. Think so? Well, if we get slammed with horrible wind, then we're not gonna be able to do the oil change. Okay, cool. I'm with that. Did you wanna put the chase on it? Yeah, I'll put the chase on it. So we can help you. You possibly can get it. I'll go into the wind also, so it should be easier. This will close up the hatchboard so we don't lose the heat that we have in here right now. You know, those clouds are probably nothing. But I said I'd just give you a shake, you yeah. know? Yeah. Good call. It's kind of bizarre that we're going right into it. Can you toss me the phone? I'd much rather do this in calmer conditions than in rough weather. Once in my West Hill 32, Cove 2 in a storm going from Beaufort, North Carolina straight to St. Martin, a one gallon container of used engine oil broke loose in the salon and broke. Oh god. Yeah, we had dirty used oil all over the salon. I had one crew, he had the pilot berth and I was on the floor and the big cushion that I had on the floor got soaked. Fumes were unbearable. There was a little gasket that was right on the underside here and you gotta make sure to pull it out. The new filter comes with that same gasket. You put just a little bit of oil 
on both sides of the gasket. Put the gasket on the filter. There's this groove where it just fits perfectly. Righty tidy, hand tight. And that's probably good enough, but just in case we do just like a quarter or not even a turn with the wrench. And make sure there's no more oil that may have settled to the pan. Can you please hand me a jug of fresh? This is fresh. There we go. You never pour it straight over like this, but instead over on its side, like this. If you do it the other way, then it doesn't come out smooth, and it usually gets all over the place. But if you put it out on its side like this, the air can escape better. We change the oil in this engine every hundred hours of running. She takes two and a half gallons of oil with every change. Alright, so that's two and a half gallons of oil. And a new filter. She should be much happier now. I think she's the original engine from like 1976. I should ask Cecilia. She would probably know. And she keeps track of everything you're up to. Cecilia? Yeah. Uh, well, we're Facebook friends, and I said that she's always welcome to visit Paragon since Paragon was her home for more years than Paragon's been my home. She probably knows a lot of stuff about Paragon that I don't know. A lot of the systems on the boat were installed by her and her husband. I hope that she's pleased when she sees all the work that we've done on Paragon since we've got her. I hope she'll be happy to see her again someday. All right. So guys and girls, up ahead we have a communal nimbus cloud. This giant communal nimbus cloud is known for its heavy showers and wind. It really does look like the heart of darkness. You can see how it shifts high from the right, moving down into the left hand side. See the way it moves down to the surface of the water? That looks like a classic example of a warm front. But it's funny because... Yeah! Drake wants me to run the engine for 30 seconds and then shut it down. Double check, it's a neutral, it's a neutral. Right, the extra set of hands on board. This guy. So Drake needed to uh, to change the oil. And the reason we had to change the oil in such a hurry is because we had a big, big cloud right on our course. And it looked like a big, nasty, bad weather cloud. It doesn't look so nasty now that there's more sunlight. Uh, but I was on watch, and when the sun came up, we saw it. I said, I have to call Drake, because it was just a big, not nice cloud. Like if I saw that coming when I was teaching a class, I'd be pulling the kids off the water. Red sky in the morning, shepherd's warning. Red sky at night, shepherd's delight. I don't know whether that's actually true or not, but it's definitely red sky in the morning. I'm glad my watch is over. I'm gonna go to bed for a couple of hours. So that looks pretty evil. A little bit more angry weather. We have the oil changed. I'd say we're gonna have to start the engine up and start motoring again. But I don't know what Drake wants to do. Because it's his call, because he's the captain. We're hoping to at the moment. So the stay sail is put onto the other side. And then you tap. And then you just sit there and wait. And it just acts as a brake. And then the main sail tries to push you up. And then this tries to push you down. And you know what, it just kind of holds you steady and you float sideways. It's really nice being hoped to. It's super quiet with the engine off. And just sit and enjoy the peace of the sea. But that's the sea. I'm gonna get some pictures. I'm going to 
talk to Drake and see what he wants to do and then I'm going to go to sleep because it's an hour past my watch and I'm kind of tired. A little bit, but it's been a beautiful morning. So we'll see how it goes. See you later. wants us to use this watch commander right here. I have it set to 12 minutes, which means every 12 minutes the little light starts to flash and then starts to make a little beeping sound and then after 60 seconds if you don't hit the little red button it starts to make the sound that I imagine would bring about the <laughs> return of the or horseman of the apocalypse or something. It's just this loud, insane siren. Something were to happen and I became incapacitated or got the bed fell overboard. Every 12 minutes, this is going off. So it would wake everyone up down below. We've got a line of clouds in front of us. They actually blocked the sun rays for a little while. I'm not quite sure what's going on in there. I guess we'll see since we're headed straight for it. Got a double reef main up and just kind of motoring along. The wind is really, really light. It's pretty much behind us and it's anywhere from like five to nine knots. So, not really enough to get us going. Uh, but, Beautiful morning. <sighs> see any ships, see any icebergs, see any planes? Hear anything on the radio? Man. What? A bird, a plane! <laughs> I think you're ready for your off watch. Yeah. <laughs> Can you look at my, my ear patch? I just put a new one on. Yeah, it looks fine. How do you feel it? Okay. I didn't throw up today. You only throw up when it's rough, not when it's light. I didn't think it was that rough the other night. It was. was it? it was really rough. Yeah, it was yeah. very rough. You do it fine. I'm a headache. I wonder why. Are you taking more of the patch than you're supposed to? Or are you supposed to do it for two days and that's it? Do it for three days. And then you can change it and put another one on for three more days and then you stop. Six days is the total. Unless supervised by your doctor. Wow, what a beautiful sky. Look at those clouds. It looked so ominous earlier. You better get some wind soon or else you're just going to use a fleet in a few on this trip. It's the green one high. Hopefully these clouds we see ahead of us are going to bring us Careful what you wish for. What are these birds doing out here, man? Thought it was your watch. Robert, you have to. You're not on for another hour. Do I 
ask me to get up. You didn't ask me to get up. You were like, you know, too much. No, no, no. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> that didn't happen at all. I was wondering what you were doing getting up, and then I was like, why are you putting your PFD on? Yeah, you get to go back to bed. I'll wake you up in an hour. Oh, sorry. Beautiful day for a sail. Yeah, man. <laughs> Sweet, so we finally have the sails up now. We're getting up close to five knots. With just under ten knots. I'm coming up with the port. So it's only early morning, so hopefully now there'll be a bit more wind coming along. But we're tipping along at ten five knots. Happy enough with this. This is what we've been doing with the motor, so it's nice to actually turn the motor off. Give it a break. Enjoy the peace of the sea, I suppose. Happy days. Hey, Cameron. Wow. That's the same one. That's the one that buzzed us before. Yeah. He's coming back. Fire the missile launcher. <laughs> yeah, he's doing a loop. Dan. Okay, yeah, he's coming right back to us. Are we are we on channel 16? Yeah. Holy shit, this is freaky. They found us. No way, he's coming straight for us. Like straight for us. <laughs> <laughs> 